Welcome back to the Navy Black Podcast. This is Big Boy the Boss, aka the Money Quarterback, making plays with that money. We back in studio, y'all, for the first time. Episode eighty-seven. What up, bit? What it do, everyone? A little different stands, but I ain't got a quote. Shout out to my boy D, man. He ain't here to spit a note. What's up, Mally? Man, you building? know what it is, man. I just look famous. Always here, man. You already know, man. It's me. I'm here. Oh, you was waiting on the quote. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what it do, John? What up, you guys? What up? What up? How y'all been? Chilling, cooler, man. man. Chilling. I was about to say, talking to the mic, you got a little new setup in here, man. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, we had to put a little curries up, you know, we had to get a little upgrade or whatever just to make the, the process a little bit more automated, you know, so we can have a little bit more time to figure out the market this shit to get more exposure. So now, in my opinion, I feel like we got to the point now we done set this shit up. Now it's time for us to go to a try to take level. off. It's yeah, because, like, off. I hope, like I say, I hope this quality that we seeing, everybody else get to see on the YouTube. Hopefully it's the same quality. It did, you hit the record button on the button, mm-hmm. right? So we good on recording and all that stuff. So I just had to start the podcast, start my dad. And like, no, Devin is definitely still on the podcast or whatever. He just moved to Florida, but most definitely. Because people were like, what the hell matter with that sitting in that seat for? What, what the fuck Devin and that shit? Kick like, his ass to the curb. <laughs> <laughs> no, he <laughs> fucking ain't. Yeah, shut, fuck up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Devin down there, tally ass that boy. Mm-hmm. Fuck Florida State off top, dog. <laughs> what they did last night was some disrespectful Zero. ass shit, dog. Shut up. Who? Tyler who? Zarek Cooper, the quarterback that lit you. Man, he came yeah. from Clemson. He used to be like garbage ass number six for Clemson that never got to play. Yeah. <laughs> hey, y'all got shot for you boys. Like. <laughs> Clemson jumped on state last night. Oh my god, you <laughs> he, he ain't hear us talking about that. You he ain't hear us talking about that, man. Forty nine to three, you mm-hmm. feel me? Hey. Just a little small win. But we need Ohio State to lose yesterday, though. We'll take that. Y'all ain't going nowhere regardless, Jerry. Y'all see it over with. We what told Joe Rowe that. You remember Joe Rowe had hit us up? Y'all that want it to be over with. Y'all have got us a whole season to go. Motherfuckers going to lose now in that top three. People going to lose? Yeah. It's up, Bama. But how yeah. y'all got y'all ass whooped? <laughs> y'all don't need to be nowhere. We didn't get whooped. What game did you watch? North you Bay. got whooped. Huh? <laughs> what game did you watch? We, we didn't never get whooped. We just lost. You just ain't got that. We just lost. Okay. We just, we just lost. Lost. Hey, That's what we do. Matt, Matt, Matt is just famous talking about Bible shots. But I, I, I did have this question for you like a couple weeks ago because I thought I wanted to because we were talking about the value they come on. Barbers, how you think about Corona or, or whatever? Like with the COVID numbers coming on, how the Bible shot, you feel like they might shut it back down? I mean, now, right now, I don't know. I mean, the shit going up though, but at the same time, keep that shit sanitized. Damn right. Mm-hmm. Keep it sanitized. That's the best shit you can do. Yeah, we definitely got to keep shit sanitized. You be on um, having motherfuckers have their mask on in there? I mean, yeah, you come in with your man, but I'm gonna cut your hair. You gotta take it off, bitch, because yeah, I gotta definitely. line your beard up. Damn right. If you got a beard, but hey, the change you gotta take. Hope one of us vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> but the vaccination don't stop the shit. So no, what you, you feel about the vaccination? It's it's a fifty fifty. You getting it? I'm thinking about going to get it. I'm tomorrow. thinking about going to get it too. But the thing is, the chance is you still can get the coronavirus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You could be a carrier, but the fact it don't affect you as bad. So it kind of fights it off, but it don't completely fight man, it off. Man. But people think that when you get in this vaccine, you can't get it. Just had an argument in the barber shop with my cousin. Like the, the only I ain't, only thing about the vaccination is that it don't even change nothing. The only reason I don't no. want to really stick that because like they ain't even really got the research to even know what it's really gonna do right. to you. But no. I feel like the only reason I want to get the vaccine is because of the stigma. Like people look at you like, why you ain't got the vaccine or whatever. Like you ain't gonna better go nowhere soon. Mm-hmm. But soon. see, hey, listen. So I was looking at some TikTok shit. Not saying it's real. Not saying it's fake. So people getting the vaccination, it turns into a magnet in their arm. Or you can scan it mm-hmm. and the code will come up. I seen where the woman scan the left arm, nothing comes up. Seen the scan the right arm, cold comes up. Seen them stick, you know, metal to the arm, it sticks to the arm. So I don't know what the fuck going on with this shit. They I put some million. I might don't want it. They put some million. I might don't want it. I don't need right. you tracking me. What does number mean in my arm now? Yeah, that's the truth though. Like you never know. You don't. You don't know. It's the people at the top that's controlling hey. you that they know. Like it's just so much. That's just, this is a man-made virus. But see, I'm gonna tell you something though. The world just been slacking. Like last time I was here, I told y'all about I watched the Ninja Turtle scene about the ooze being leaked over New York City, going to quarantine and all yeah. that. Boom. But I also watched some shit last night with the PJs. They pulled up in the van. You remember the PJs, the little old school cartoon shit? Oh, yeah. Young nigga, young nigga. I'm a young no, nigga, no, man. No, German no, old nigga, you know. You remember PJ, right? <laughs> you remember the PJ? They had smoke and all that. It was like a yeah. little black little project. That we was, watched um, March. That was Eddie Murphy, ain't it? That was yeah, 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 yeah. So they had a part on that, and you know that shit was back. 
out in the days and shit. Mm -hmm. So a van pulled up giving that free vaccination, talking about a flu shot. And they was like, I don't want that. No, no, so uh, I forgot the nigga name, though, but he was telling about that shit. I'm going to have to show you that shit, though. They was talking about um about the vaccination. Um, Show on a podcast said, like, in Watts, they was like, you got Roll Russes and B um, Bentleys out there and shit because white people can go to Watts because none of the black people get the uh, vaccine. <laughs> yeah. I ain't getting this damn shot. But I, I think we're going to have to. We're going to have to. Because they do that because that's why right, the, the vaccine that first came out because, you know, mm -hmm. it, the, this shit was scared at most places, and especially in the white communities because all white people got. I remember I went to a, a Thai shop, white, old white lady, and she wasn't like, you vaccinated? I like she like I take my mask off be vaccinated. I like nah, don't even take your mask off. I'll be like, don't, yeah, don't take it off, dick. <laughs> don't take it off, dick. <laughs> yeah, I ain't do that woman like that. But like, hey. I, I understand it. Like I think like it's just a comfort, especially for older people. Like neither, dog. Yeah. You know, but the thing is, you know, you don't know what this shot is, so your immune system might can't take that shot. You don't know, so you still taking a chance on taking big this chance. shot. You know what I'm saying? So, big chance. like this is Corona. At first, when you take it serious. But then when somebody passed that's close to you from this corona and they saying that corona killed, then you want to take it serious. But then you hear about the shot. Like, I remember a girl told me she got the shot, like, what, 12 or 4 o'clock that day? By 12 o'clock that night or something, she thought she was dying. She had to go back to the hospital. Oh, that, she had got that Johnson & Johnson shit. And they was like, a lot of them shit's outdated. So I was like, shit, fuck that. I'm fine right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just live like I'm living. That one they say that shit be giving you the chills. Like you really feel you like you sick know. as hell. I mean, like somebody came up, they was like, man, my arm hurting like shit. Well, I got my second shot. Like man, that one shot is gonna hurt though. No, not, not you, like, you got it, Jern? No, hell no. Uh, no, not. Like, I ain't never had a flu not shot. Like a pain. Me neither. Well, I had not one like for. A pain. It's like a a sore muscle. Mm. Like you probably just played like football I'm and you got hit like a helmet hit your arm. You ever had a flu shot? Fuck mm -hmm. no. I had it one time. and that I never had the flu. Yeah, I had the flu before. But I had the flu shot one time because a nurse coached me to do it while I was getting my physical or whatever for um, mission or whatever. And I got it. And I, I, like I say, it make you feel like, you like sick. what the fuck? My arm hurt. It, like, it hurt like I say. Somebody it's like a pain me. like you don't want to lift. Somebody just been my arm. Yeah, you don't want to lift it or none nothing. of that shit. It just like, it's not like a shocking pain. It's nope. a painful yeah, pain. Yeah, a pain. Like an accident, like something hit you, bro. Right. Yeah, yeah so they don't want that shit. Who want to feel like that? I definitely And he was like, man, I've been feeling like this for two days, but my arm hurt so bad. And you still got to go to work. Exactly. Motherfucker, what you going to say? I can't work my arm so hard. Nah, nah, you bring your work. bitch ass to work. I know. <laughs> bring your bitch ass to work. <laughs> that shit. <laughs> nigga, we need you out here, dick. Fuck you, man. But what else you been on go, going on with the barbershop? Because, like, 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 you, uh, like, you, like, you entrepreneur and shit. Like, you know, like, you be building it. How, how, how you building it? I mean, you just research, look for new ideas. Already. That, that's, that's, like, the basic thing. You just keep researching things. Learn how to grow more. Grow more. How to get better at your craft, you know what I'm saying? How can you bring more to it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the thing is, like, people like to quit after making so many mistakes. Yeah. Once you make those mistakes, you learn from them. your thing is never give up and you yeah. can win. You, the like that lasts mm -hmm. the longest going fucking last. Right, the like, yes. My thing, my thing is, once I try this and it don't work, whatever I feel like made me fail, I take that out. And try it again. Try it again. Just keep trying it again because you never know that day you quit. That might be the day you succeed. Like you ever saw that you picture of like that person that was like digging, like digging, digging? Then for don't even know like he right beside the goal, but he quit right there. But the other he quit, and, and, and he come in, and the next person come in, little bit, and, and one time, and it falls right in his oh, hand yeah. because you open up the gate and yep. you let everything go. So you, you can't you, do it that way. You gotta keep going. That's why we do this thing. Like this thing, it gets stressful because like especially with. Like person, like work, like like, like your work life balance, the going through situations in life, it really affects your like you know the, the center is like, it affects this yeah. podcast and everything you do. Mm -hmm. So like, tell me about like work life balance or whatever. Like, what's it's all about what's your balance in life. Right? My work life balance is crazy right now because my whole life is in the upheaval or whatever because everything is different. A year ago, I couldn't picture myself being in this situation right now. But you know, you keep going with the punches, like you say. Like you never stop. You just keep going. Yeah, you fail up. Stop. It's always distractions, distractions, distractions. Yeah. Everywhere you go is distraction. Anything can be a distraction, and you don't even know it. Mm -hmm. So I mean, like I said, like you in the point of your life because you're supposed to be in the point of your life. Like you around the people you around because you're supposed to be around them. That's where you put yourself right. at. Like, you know, it, exactly. It's just basically that. But like I don't know. I, what else y'all got going on this week? <laughs> Uh, Y'all know what we were talking about earlier, whatever. What? Yeah, we can get into that. <laughs> no, I said instantly. He said yeah. we could get into it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So what y'all want to get into about these women? They got, they got, got, got a lot of pent up frustration for not. I not, wouldn't no, call it no, necessarily. No, not pent up frustration, but like just like just thinking in the head, like is this? I don't. Right? I don't want to say let's get into it about these women, 
Let's right. get into it about the distractions and the stress of fatherhood. Yeah. Fact. Being a father and being a dad and being a, a co-parent donor. Yeah. A co-parent. It's right. no such thing as co-parenting no more. Uh -uh. It's nothing. It ain't. Because Look. you get put, I mean, you get judged on different spectrum because you can have your kid every other day and a mother will still say you ain't shit, but some mothers would have their kid get babysat. Well, not babysat, but like kept by their parent one time every couple of months and they'll still say that they're a good daddy because he do that. It's like, can I get some appreciation? Just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. These women don't want to give it. It's just what it is, though. Right. And it's sad. It's but, true. I mean, that's just how the world is and how we was raised in this world. Like, women, like, you know, are the prize. But a lot of that comes from a mother's childhood, mm -hmm. how she was raised. Mm -hmm. What happened in her life, she looks at it as the same thing. Yes. Like, my dad went here. Okay, if you miss three days without even seeing your kid, you already a bad parent. I <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck. Like, oh, so you out here, you out here in these clubs, or you out here doing this, but you can't call your kid. That's going to happen. Yeah. Because they want to take your fun time away <laughs> and make that shit miserable time in your life yeah, but it's right. not gonna happen me i don't do shit you feel me so you know what i'm saying if i'm i'm working i get out you work. Say, like, the work you yeah work. yeah i'm always working so i don't that was like, you I, know i get my kids i see my kids i talk to my kids every day yeah but still yeah at the end no, of the day, I, 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 i've never been called a bad in hand. my opinion i think that's commendable uh -huh. i think i think that's oh you've been called a bad <laughs> you're, you're a sorry sad sorry, piece sorry, of shit <laughs> but like, hey, I, 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 it's crazy as hell to get called a bad parent knowing I know what a bad parent is. So why did you get called a bad parent? Maybe like the quality time I spend with my daughter, but not the time I spend with her because I'm around her a so, lot. So th this is the thing. So quality time and just value time. I mm -hmm. So your quality time, that's going places, yeah. doing everything. The time that you just spend it is valued. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So with your quality time, you can't do that if you're – not gonna say your income go let you, but you don't want to go over your budget of your income just by trying to do everything mm -hmm. every week or every day with this kid. Like I can't take my kid to Stars and Strike this every every week. Every week. I can't take my kid to Dave and Buster right after I take him to Stars and Strike. Now we can't go horseback ride. I can't keep paying for that shit. Mm -hmm. What are you helping me with? Cause look, you looking at me for I got my kid. You ain't gonna give me no money. I gotta feed them. You're not gonna give me no money to go nowhere. So I gotta go places. I still got bills. I still got everything in my life. Please talk to them, so Therefore, to him. therefore, I can't do everything that you want me to do. You know what I'm saying? Because I am still me. I am mm -hmm. one person. I have to live for me and mine. And yeah. mine. Me so and mine. It's they me don't understand mine. it because they always living just for them and so, theirs. So, but so we can't do that. This is the thing. So I guess. You got there for us. I guess if you have your kid say, <laughs> say, say like your kid say like your kid don't 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 stay with you your kid stay yeah. with the mom so if she decides she want to go out that night mm -hmm. is she a bad parent you left your kid yep because because, <laughs> because, because, because this is my thing and this is what I, I learned from being a parent. People don't mind leaving their kids with anybody but are act stingy with their car. Which more important? You'll let me keep your kid, but won't let me hold your car. <laughs> I don't get that part. You can get another car, but you can't get that same kid. Drop the kid off anywhere. Yeah. Hey, like, oh. The drinks waiting on my, oh, in my car. Kid, my kid here. Oh, she would wait your car. She's fine. But I asked to drive your car. To, you not driving my car. You be there wreck my shit. <laughs> I, I can kill your kid. <laughs> the fuck? But you ain't going to do this. But you know, but you. But, it's a, you know, it's like it's just like that because they know you ain't go kid the kid or do nothing crazy to the kid. And you, but you might not, you might be reckless in the car though. Hey, but you know another bad thing is too though. The kid around another person. Hmm. So say if you're a father, you have that kid around another woman. Yeah. Why do women get mad? I'm not gonna have my kid around someone that's gonna hurt them. So you, you think that. also, you, also right. on the end, you know a woman ain't gonna have <laughs> their kid around a man. They don't. They gonna How you know it. though? That nigga can't hurt but anybody. How, how they know you gonna be you gonna be around a woman? Hey, so a woman can't so, hurt so, me. So, so you don't really have a kid. So that what I'm saying. I ain't, how would you feel really. if you had a daughter? How would you feel if that mom had your daughter around a random man you don't know much about? But I, in my opinion, I feel like I, I mean, you gotta be a conversation between the, the two parents about it. But first and foremost, she's not gonna have that conversation because women are secretive. But no, 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 but no. What, what I'm saying is like, it, I, I, <laughs> I, 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 will, I will hope that 
if I have the mother of my kids, which I want to be with the mother of my kids, if I have a kid, first and foremost, but saying about if that was to happen, I would hope she would be around a man that's going to be good enough for her to be around. You would hope. You, but, yeah, yeah, you would hope, but you don't know because you, you still know. have to learn. But, like, I, but I know but I know who I was with to lay down with, and I, I know that person. So That could be a different hey, person, hey, though. Hey, put it like this. Put it like this. True. Say if you got a kid now, you and your uh, kid's mom split up. Nah, she's with she's talking to another man. They're dating and he's coming around, he's coming around your kid. They've been dealing for months now, two, three months. On the fourth month, you find out he's a sex offender or something. How you oh, feeling now? No. How you feel? You gotta learn. But like what, but li life is like you cannot live life like that. No, you life. can't live life like that because but his that's sex offender charge could have been. Yeah. But still, yeah, his sex offender charge could have been something petty, but you don't yeah. know. Cause you can get a sex offender charge just by pissing on the side of the road. Yeah. Exactly. And, and you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I, I read my Tyson book. He he clear he did not do what he did, but he still had to register in every seat he go to that he's a sex offender. Yeah, like, of course. He, yeah, you got to. Like, that's his, his, but his, now they're coming up. Then, but now they're they coming up with laws where a lot of people ain't gonna have to register no more. Okay. So they they coming up with those laws now. I say in the next year or so it's gonna be like that. Cause that is really messy. Because a lot of people got sex offender charges that don't need to be sex offender really? charges. I ain't need no sex offender. Like I don't. Want, yeah. But it is some sex, some nasty, cutthroat, disgusting people out here. Too, oh yeah. Man. And like I mean. Or, I mean, going back to that, what would you say, going back, like, thinking about when we were younger, where we 10, 15, because we got kids, well, we, we were around kids that's that age, like, think about a fucking 25-year-old messing with a 16, 17-year-old. What's your opinion on that these days? Now, since hey. you're 10, 15 years older than that. Hey, that's very fucking disgusting. Because <laughs> me, right now, hey, I'm 35 years old, so yeah. I feel like, hey. I got a little salt and pepper in the bed. So I'm at the age where I could date you as young as 26 and I could date you as high as 50 to 50. Yeah, right. You know what I'm you saying? Get that old 50 so, year old. Hey, so, so once, once you don't reach one. over that right. 25. <laughs> more, online, they need a cougar. Hey, hey. <laughs> I, 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 don't call, I don't call them cougars. I call them a classic. Oh, classic. <laughs> yeah, because you know. Everything you know, you get some in the 70s, born in the 70s. That's a classic. So listen, is they um, classic so is, right the, is those wheels greased? <laughs> I mean, hey, sometimes them wheels can be a little grease, and sometimes them wheels need some grease because they won't turn like they need to. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't be in there where you got to put a little little force because they ain't been tampered with in a while. You yeah. know, things go back to their regular states. You know what <laughs> regular states. So, hey, regular states. Hey, right. hey de dealing with some cougars to be a little different. You heard okay, me? that was it. I, I, I don't deal. I, I ain't even think about that. Plenty of women older mm. than me. And I'm going to tell y'all something. As women get older, Nah, I can't speak on every woman. But they say it's like change. No motherfucker don't want no dick. But I'm here to deliver, baby. I'm still young. You better leave me alone. I want to fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, man. They just want time and quality time. They just want time, they just want time, time, man. Just time. Like, they just want to communicate with somebody, have a, a go, good friend. Like, like, still just go, like, you know. We watch like, the game also. Okay. Red zone. So check this. Like every woman, every woman I basically dealt with in my life from the past. The past 10 to 12 years, every woman I ever did with, sexual or whatever, they fell in love with me. But man, they have a gift. Because, it, it, it got a gift but, but it, it, it's not that. It's just that I always have time. Because, hmm? like, that's why. That, you got to, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have a job for a long time. But that's what I'm saying. I was talking to Birdman so, yesterday. It's commendable because your whole life, we see you, our whole life, you always run your life. You control your whole life. Yeah, I, I always got time. <laughs> so, <laughs> you always control his so life. So like, it's like me. Always. It's like me versus the working man. Yeah. He can't have his phone on the floor. <laughs> yeah. he, can't talk, he can't talk to his woman. <laughs> no. But while she's laying there bored and he at work and can't get that conversation, she hitting me up on the side. And I got conversation. <laughs> I got conversation. Side nigga Sunday. Hey, yeah. hey, I'm the number one side nigga in America, man. I ain't no trip. You know, I done been there. You a side nigga? You, so how you feel though? Nigga. At your age now, you feel like you ready to settle down of and course. have like a one of woman course. that of can course. you can build something with? Of course. Who don't want that? Yeah. I mean, you know one thing that men okay. hate in a woman, what we've been talking about? A woman that love to go out all the time. God. Like Woman, if you want something in life and you always in a bar club or you out, no man wants that shit because when do you have time for that man? That man need that attention. Hey, he, because if he don't get attention from home, eventually he's going to start doing the same thing that you're doing and he's going to run into attention. Attention is everywhere. Distractions are everywhere. Really so you're like, going to run into that. It's, a, like, it's like, abundance. It's crazy because like once I, was, I remember back, we used to go to the club twice a weekend or whatever and every time I went to the club, I went to the club to see pretty girls. I really never saw pretty girls too yeah. much at the club. But like I went there to see them but as soon as I got with a girl that I, I wanted to be around, I ain't been to the club since because that's what you go to the club for. And yeah. I, okay. I, I check, check this. 
Yeah, going to the club. It's all kind of distractions in now. Like when we was in Greenville. Yeah. Woman back completely up on me. You, 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 you saw the women that. loving me in Greenville, boy. Man, ain't nobody love you. Anyway, she backed up on me. Look back. Oh, I'm sorry. You seen me there already because you walked to me and turned around. Yeah. That's that attention. That's that distraction. But I ignored that. You seen something you liked, what you was chasing. You didn't tell me that out top. Don't just bump me. Tell me what you want. If you want dick, let me know. If you want, want some financing, let me know. Let me know what the fuck you want. That is the truth, though. Right, that's what that you want from a woman. A straightforward woman yeah. that's going to tell you don't, what she wants. Don't want. give me the I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it don't matter. Don't I don't I'll let you know. Communication yeah. is very key. That's why you got to communicate. It just got to be, like I said, y'all said last week, it got to be communication and comprehension in that communication, though. Right. You a lot of people don't comprehend saying. what y'all talk about. Yeah. And they take it to a whole nother level. They take it a whole different way than what you yeah. meant. Like, you could say something one way, and they think it's that way, but you meant a whole totally right. different thing. That's why it's also not good to text your communication. But you can it's also better talk to, to You got to talk. You got to talk because they could take your text as a voice that you never really put it in. You feel like, me. you could say something like, you could, te- you could text a motherfucker, shut the fuck up. Yeah. But you could be laughing on your side of the phone, but they think you said, oh, so you want me to shut the fuck up? And I, right, I didn't say it mean, like right. that. Well, what, how the fuck you said it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just, just, like, just like the Kevin Hart shit, he was like, damn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It was like, damn, like, is it damn? It's like, damn, this nigga old or 50? Or damn, I want to make it to 50. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know you that old. Like, yeah, like, damn, damn. Nigga, you look good at your age. Right, oh, is it like, right. damn, you old. <laughs> I don't know how to take it. So that's how. He he, he had a verbal text message right yeah. there. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's what is different interpretations. Like, he could have took it either side. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. So, so he was like, so what do you mean it like? Yeah. yeah. Tim, we'll I, talk about this later. more on that. Yeah, like, let me know. He was it's like, no, nah, I didn't say it like that. <laughs> Kevin, yes, the fuck you did. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, yeah, fifty fifty. Just like, damn. Conversation. <laughs> it's it's more, Jeremy. Uh, so he had a lot to say. It's more. What you feel about the situation about being a in fatherhood and like, you know? Hey man, I can only speak on what's, what's the on the, the the journey and like, is it, <clears> is it kind of hard? I mean, obviously your journey of, has been hard. Of course, like, of course, it's hard because ain't no ain't no book on this shit. So you pretty much moving on the fly all the time. Yes, <laughs> there's, a, there's a book and video. We just gotta search out gotta and read find them. them. You gotta read that because it's, it's stuff fatherhood about fatherhood yeah. and being a better like partner and stuff like that. You gotta search it out and find it. It right. do help out once you read it. True. True. We got we got guests in the house. <laughs> Somebody can, but not not saying any, nobody Brazil. nobody can't Shout tell you can. how to live, <laughs> but somebody can give you advice and like you can see that perspective and you be like, oh. I, Yeah, but it's, it's still peaks and valleys in every color. I'm telling you, it's so much like it go. Everything comes. It's guidelines for it, basically. Yeah, she said it's guidelines for it because I know you can't hear it off camera. Still want to be like it's still want to be certain ways that stuff's not going to work. So yeah. you don't have to find other ways that do it. And the thing is, pretty much, just go the way the mama wanted to work, and you'll be peaceful. Yeah. Because other than that, nah, they're gonna go against your work. Like that, it ain't gotta be like that, but that's how it's gonna be. That's because how the system set what? up. Guess what? If she say get that kid that day and you don't, you ain't shit. Yeah. You a deadbeat ass motherfucking yeah. dad. Yeah. That's yeah. just how it is. All the time. It's dead you could have had the kid for the six days prior. Yeah. Hey, hey. I'm talking about six out of seven days prior, but you don't get him on that seventh day, mm-hmm. you ain't shit, oh, nigga. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sad. But like, it's like, sad, I mean, sad as fuck. Sad. I'm sad as fuck. I got told I was sad as fuck today, but okay. I be, yeah. Same <laughs> You feel me? I ain't had a problem. Shout out to uh, Brazil in the building, man. Shout out, shout out, baby girl. Yeah, yeah, baby. Hey, hey. Over there chilling. Sad as fuck. Yeah. Like, sad yeah. as fuck out yeah. here, man. But, like, it's a, it's a day of, like, it's so crazy out here. Like, to, I mean, he don't know what yeah, like, I, you I, had to go say, through as far as, like, being he, a father with. We've been in a relationship. Like, I see I, my vantage point of, uh, like, duh. I see a dad. He does. He calls his kid every day. Like he don't live close, so he can't see it every day. But he call it every day faithfully. Like he want he in touch with her life. And I feel, in my opinion, that's a good job. Yeah, because he, in, he in, me personally, what I wanted from my daddy was a relationship. And it wasn't really about the stuff he was gonna buy me. Mm. So I didn't really have no relationship. Like so, you don't even so you really, didn't catch no connection. Yeah, no connection. Like I feel like, and I like he got a connection with her. So mm-hmm. that's perfect in my. Opinion. That's what I, I feel I, like. I, 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 got I, connection I, with I, I, I want you to ask yourself this. He can't ask it. So you got a kid now. Do you think your daddy just left, or that mom bring him? Well, away? I got one. <laughs> like it's, it's just you don't up. know. You don't know. You don't know. Cause I a hundred percent understand how a woman can run off a man 
out the kid life. I want right. you want to be in your kid life, but the peace that you don't have being around the baby mama will push you so far away. It was like maybe later on in life I can talk to my kid and be like, "This is why I wasn't there." Or you can just have like little small relationships. But that's an excuse in my opinion. Like you, you got to fight. You got to fight through that turbulence. Why? Yeah. Because like yo, she that shake her head. Like you got to fight. This is why you got to fight through the turbulence because. Cause when, once you down 40, 50, your kids 20, 25, like once you like, you going through. No, Yo, you don't let it go that no, long. You going through, situ- yeah. no, no. You going through situations in life and they, and they got resentment to you for the shit you did when you wasn't there cause you was dealing with the parent from mm-hmm. fucking five to 15. So that resentment don't go nowhere. So like once you need them and like just want that love from them and they ain't giving you the same love you want from them because you didn't really get them that love back when they was at eight, then you'll feel some type of way. Yeah. That's why you right. can't never. No, no it's not saying like you were. Uh, Give less love to the kid, but you, you are just won't be you, around but I'm as saying, much. You are gonna give less love because if you're not around and you're not faithfully trying to be in the light. Every no, day. I'm saying like you definitely gonna call your kid every day. I'm talking about like actually going to see him and like yeah, taking I mean, him out. Like just say if you like living in another place and like you might see your kid once a year. But you can't. That, that's. But in my opinion, it's just like I mean that's that's life though. If you gonna move mm-hmm. away, but if you if you like matter like, you in, you close to your kid, so you got to see him on a regular basis. Yeah, like, I but gotta. If, see, but if but, you think. What you know, if you was say in North Carolina, if you was in North Carolina, then you wouldn't see him. Why come be in Georgia? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say that. that right. was, you want to change it? Why I come be in Georgia? <laughs> well, if you was in Georgia, whatever, you wouldn't be able to see Jemaya and Jaleel all the time. No, not all the time, unless you FaceTime. But this is the thing, though. That still don't lose connection, though. Because my dad was locked up from the age I was three. Your dad is so outgoing. He, he, but, but like, listen, he made but, you mess But up. listen, though. My dad was locked up when I was three. So I didn't have a father in my life. So he got out of jail. I was 11. That was eight Two. years without a dad. Three so nine. then he went back to Damn. jail when I was 13. Yeah. So like what time I spent, because those times that you was out, you was chasing memories. Now you trying to catch back up. So you ain't have time for me. So boom, you go back to jail again. Yeah. So I'm probably like 18, 15 or something when so, you get out. You know, I'm driving now. Like nigga, you don't miss my walks. You don't miss my driving, my bicycle today. <laughs> you made me you walk it, crawling. That is, that is. You don't miss uh, all that shit. So then you Hard I never saw you play football. Never. Never saw I me play football. This. Never seen me play basketball. Never seen me. Nigga, you really, never seen really me really drive. And nigga, when you. Listen, me and my daddy got a great connection from the last time he was in prison. I could say he probably been out of jail now for like nine, ten years. So I'm 35. He got out. I was probably 25, 26. Nigga, I was in the streets then, so nigga, I'm grown as fuck. You can't tell me shit. Nothing. You can talk to me. Out. Now, I remember one time he was I out. out. I, I was in the eighth grade, so I had to be like 15. Boom. Yeah, I was like 15. 14, 15. I was in the eighth grade, I think. I got kicked out of school. He came over there. He wanted to discipline. You can't discipline me. I understand that you my dad, but you ain't been in my life to discipline me. So you never gave me those corrections growing up. Don't try to correct me now. Exactly. Yeah. You can't do that. If you want to come... Give me a conversation. He came with a belt. He swore on a belt. I caught that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> now, right, y'all y'all got a rip you. Caught, caught, caught it. it. Hey, caught it. Ripped yeah. it out of his fucking hand. F-15? Cut his hand with the buckle. <laughs> not finna whoop me, homeboy. Well, I know, like, you with know my me belt? Like he talking about give me a belt. <laughs> At 15? <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, you know, this is a real fight now, bro. Uh, we like, like, yeah. You'd have been better off saying, hey. let's go out back hey, and what, put your what, hands what up. What you had that need, though, man? I think I got, I got kicked out of school. Finna go what? I don't fucking remember nigga I was kicked out of school numerous <laughs> times, nigga. Yeah, my bad. I, I ain't never get kicked out of school, so hey. if I would have got kicked out of school, I would have had a memory of why I did it. Yeah, would, you'd have had me. I got plenty of memories. I, I, went, I went to Isaiah's twice in my life. Nigga, I got, I, I got kicked out of school one time for, hey, humping a girl in line, coming out for recess. Horny, man. Oh, horny. Horny. <laughs> horny goat, hey. been a porn star. No, I, went, I, went, I went to Isaiah's in seventh grade for um, <laughs> slapping on Kiki um, Streeter now on the ass, man. Hey, where the fuck are ISS, man? God damn, got caught with a white motherfucker. ISS is one of my classes, so I ain't no tripping. Disrespect. I hate it. You know what I'm saying? Man. But um, so like, when my so my daddy tried, my homeboy there too. Man, we'll bless you today. <laughs> my, <laughs> my, my old daddy. I hate for, I hate for me and my <laughs> homeboy to get on your ass. Wank, hey, wank it with him. I hate for me and wank it get on your ass, man. <laughs> I hate that shit. So hey, I'm gonna tell you what he did though. So we left, right? I hopped in the car, wanking, walking back up the road. I'm like, nigga, I ain't gonna get my homeboy no ride. Yeah, nigga, you dead to me. You don't fucking do this to my homeboy. This loyalty right here. He went to the school, got all my motherfucking books. For what reason? 
I ain't fuck with them shit. Zinni, I ain't fuck with them. I hate <laughs> nah, though, no, I'm bullshit. I had good grades in school. I had good grades in school. I ain't gonna bullshit. Man, hey, Mally, he alumni at Baseball July. We alumni at Coastal. We went there. Yeah, <laughs> of, course. <laughs> of course. That was something I attended. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <Little function. laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it was like a, it was hey. like a little trial. Hey, it was at, a trial. We was at alumni basketball game. Rich Spray, Mally on the court. <laughs> I went to fucking school there. <laughs> yeah. I played. I played junior varsity. That, that's, okay. that, that's a go. Okay. I'm alumni. I yeah, attended. Alumni. I played. They should have these games still, yeah. man. Like, yeah, but you can't because I think the last one somebody got into a fight. How you go do? How you go? Fuck up a community thing. Like, that's why black communities can't do shit together now. Anything get done. Like, I done seen white people. I done seen Hispanic people. They throw the monsters jams out there in their yard. And there's no polices around. But as soon as they hear a black event, we don't know how to carry that event in a respectful way. So the police is parked down the road. Like, bro, just. Look, this is the thing. This is the thing. Get your car out the fucking road. That's all they ask you. But when they ask you that, you got to have an attitude because why, why? you don't why? want the man doing? with a bad ego. You don't want the man with a bad to tell you what to do because yeah. you feel like you're a pussy. Yep. That's his job. That's his job. Like That's you his in, job. You in the road, you so, breaking the law. So, like the same way, if I'm cutting your hair and I tell you to hold your head up, that's my job. I got to do, I got to get <laughs> my crown. Nigga be mad about that? Like, yeah. <laughs> <that's, that's, that's, laughs> you been telling me to like, move nah, my nah, head nah, too much. I don't understand. Not mad, but you can kind of like, you know, I don't Lift the nigga head back, tell the nigga hold your head back to get up on his neck. He but right he got the stiff head and he'll let it back down like. Nigga. So I gotta look at you so like, bro, it's that simple. It's gonna take me 30, 30, maybe 15 to 30 seconds to do what I need to do. Yeah. Like, bro, just just relax. You, you, nigga, you under my instruction and, right now. Yeah. Like, and like, I'm the boss, you the you the follower. Like, like, I'm at first, he's my boss. Yeah, exactly. Because he's telling me the way he wants his hair. Give yeah. him a service. That's your boss. Do his work. <clears throat> so once well, you get those ideas on what he wants, yeah. he no longer becomes your boss. Let nah. me perform my task yeah. now. It's my, it's my now, now, now you're my, my you're my practice dummy because yeah. every day I'm practicing. Exactly. I'm practicing for and it's a better, like you know you, what I'm saying? You're practicing to get better, but it's like, but you, it's, it, that is exactly what you're doing, yeah. practicing to get better because like, but you'll never like, like what, what would you consider um like a championship game? Like, you know? It's no championship game just because they label you as a master barber. You're not. You're never ever gonna be a master barber like, because you, you never you, mastered everything. Do you have intentions of like one day, like man, I'm gonna cut. Well, you, I mean, I'm gonna let you take me up when we when we pop the shit off and be the number one podcast. But like having intentions of like talking to people, like cutting somebody that's like popping, popping. Out. I mean, of course, that's everybody go. Who don't want that thing? Just to saying. say, I ain't never thought about that just, in that just, way. Just, just to, to say that. Hey, look, I cut Drake hair. I cut Jamie Foxx hair. You, you know I cut Burgess. She do the brat hair. Oh, no, nah, I ain't know. No, dog, nigga. She literally do the brat hair. And, like, they she, they had a wedding or whatever. She had, or she was at the wedding or whatever. Both of, both of her and the girl, Judy, in the country. She, we followed her on the Navy Black page. We mm-hmm. got, she got to come on the pocket. But this, I'm this, not a name or whatever. She Burgess. But anyway, dog, in there, that's all you got to do. She in Atlanta. And, yeah, like, it, it's where you at. I think about the brat hair be tight as hell, too. Yeah, but it's where you at, though. That's the thing, like, I'm not expecting to cut nobody to come through base work famous unless it's done trail yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's a football player. So if he come and sit in my chair, cool, I cut somebody. But of course it's gonna look great for somebody, but it's gonna feel regular for me because I know him. Yeah, but like it just like the the, the rep you can get out. That's yeah, like, it's, it's just, like what it's just the rep. It's just like my man, he he said a dog. So he was like, you know what I'm saying? If I sell you a dog for five hundred dollars, nobody gives a shit. But if I sell Somebody famous a dollar for five hundred dollars. That's gonna boost me up. And I can set the next dollar for a thousand. Mm-hmm. So if I cut your half for twenty twenty five, Murphy, you need to get him to come out yeah. to the shop. Murphy ball like me. He probably cutting that, that shit himself. He though. can't get nothing but the beard line though. The truth, though but. but hey, this, this the thing though. So if I cut your half for twenty five, and I cut Drake half for twenty five, now they see that I cut Drake half, not knowing what the fuck he paid. He might say in a song that he paid three hundred dollars for a haircut. Everybody go think now nah, they could pay me three hundred dollars to get a haircut. And if Drake haircut look good, the next man comes with three hundred. That's it. That, that's what it's marketing and promotion. That's my growth. Little you know ball said saying? that's why he was wanting to be in all the videos with Ti and stuff. Cause like I'm gonna be on a one on six part every day. What the fuck you mean? Like, I'm gonna be in two or three videos. You're gonna know who is this nigga in the video exactly. every week they don't see me with the dread, the little short nigga day. with the big ass head. Like, that's mm-hmm. all it is. But big I, mouth hey, nigga. <laughs> I saw him um, tie uh, being here like um, his barber told him on um, his haircut gonna um, start cost a hundred dollars. Like I ain't thought about a haircut for him since. <laughs> I ain't thought about it. What? Man, I ain't but that but off. that ain't shit. You no never know. That's why. That's why you always gotta answer and take opportunities, whether you want to or somebody not. paying hundred dollars. Because no, listen. Like Steve Harvey said, Steve Harvey said he was getting his hair cut three hundred 
three, four times a week paying his barber like $1,400 because he was getting a man weave. Nobody knew that. Because yeah. ain't no way his shit that crispy. Nigga, you never out of whack. Never was out of never. whack back in the day. You then never, went completely You never bald. had to pick that shit and then all of a sudden yeah. you bald. Yeah. But the thing never is. Never had a piece. Like, if I'm getting paid that type of money just to do this for you, Steve, why would I go cut somebody else's hair? So, he went everywhere Steve went. That's the perfect life. He's lifestyle. already living. So, with that, with, like with that being said, <laughs> now this nigga got, like, two or three schools or whatever. He got two or three barbershops he's running. His yearly income is like three point something million dollars just off of Steve Harvey. I, man, you tell me about it. So, man. Like, I can, so of course I, I want. Of course I want to cut somebody that you know success will have. I don't give marketing. a fuck who it That's is. Like, I, I want to learn marketing and promotion because again, I like talking to Birdman. Like we, like like we y'all are only people that are doing something like this. It's like I really believe. Like man, I hope and and this is the thing. You got to take chances on trying to reach out to people. Yeah. You can't be scared of the... But that's why the no... We ain't really... But what, what we've been waiting on is the this. Like, have, cause like hopefully this episode goes the way we want it to go. And but feel like we but can, see, it can't go the way it want to go if it don't... Like, like you got to think. Soldier Boy. What he did. Line Wire. All that shit, but that's right? What we doing but now, listen. Though. No, no, you're not. Because he made those music and he's put those music under different titles that was already popping. So therefore, y'all gotta take y'all podcast, drop it to somebody in DM on IG, just anybody. But what we gotta do is get the the particular people on that can give us some. You good can acclaim. get that, but also you can go on and let people know what you have. Drop y'all shit in the Breakfast Club shit. Come on, in the comments. In the DM. Oh, in DM. Just, Just drop a video. Drop, drop y'all YouTube yeah. video. Yeah. And they did. They might watch it and be like, "Oh, they trying to do what we did. We started like this. Hey, let's pull them on and let's let them talk about what they got going on with their podcast." And then you go on this TV now. People knowing you, uh, okay, whatever. I, I saw now they like, "Who is these people? Let me follow these people now. And see what they got going on." Because if they're on the Breakfast Club podcast and they have their own podcast, they are somebody because they're with those people. That's already somebody. So you don't have to be shit to be shit. Yeah, that was it. And we already know that our followers, our subscribers, and all that stuff is like shoot up. All we need is something that to go kind of cool, 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 viral or something. Somebody wow. to really be like, oh shit, I ain't so, even heard that shit before, but yeah. that's cool, pretty cool. Like, yeah, like you just gotta keep fucking going. Like, it might don't We need Germany to come on camera and bust that bus up. <laughs> that bus is wow, for real <laughs> nigga. Where did that come from? <laughs> 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 they like that hey, type of shit. I don't understand though. You've been saying a lot of gay shit lately. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, if I call your phone, you'd be like, "Boy, you looking like you won't bust." But you always moist. You picked up the phone with your shirt off with me, nigga. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. They had a tight top off. No, you had no shirt. I was like, "Hey, bro, get dressed and call me back." <laughs> nah, nigga, shut the fuck up. Nigga. I was uncomfortable. I was literally putting shirt on while you were uh, calling me. <laughs> hey, I was so uncomfortable because. I'm standing behind a nigga cutting his hair. You got your shirt on. And, and my phone is posted behind me, so you behind me with your shirt on. So, Jern, hey, if I look back, that don't look good. That don't look good. Yeah. Why good you creeping look. up behind me? I literally was in the process of putting my shirt on. Yeah. Boy was in the house real hey, moist. Ask me this, though. How would you feel if your girl said she learned how to suck dick from a gay dude? What? <laughs> so, therefore... Feel? This bitch got strong, nasty jaws. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> jaws. Now nah, you gonna have me asking questions like, "Hey, for you, so who taught you guys something? So did <laughs> who taught you that? Where you learn from? Like, really, the way do you learn from yourself? Pra- ain't it? Pra- <laughs> what you practice on? Other niggas before you. I know that's that's where you get practice from. Hey, hey that, that's the thing with dealing with a woman, bro. You gotta think she already hold another nigga. Hey, I saw, I saw. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. Go ahead. Go ahead. You, you know what I think it is though. I think like. Females like who you know who that had different niggas or whatever, they down whatever they whatever they was doing for that nigga that they had before, they take a little bit of that shit into the next, yeah. but not everything. They really give you like, everything they did. Yeah, they know. Listen, 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 listen. Let me let me take let me let me give you this. Yeah. Let me give you this shit. The same shit she done done with a nigga. Yeah. She's done that same shit with you. It was no right. steps taken right, out. Okay. Because okay. Because okay. This this is the thing. This yeah. is the thing. It was no uh, steps taken out. Because she know that she might have fucked up doing it this way. She yeah. just added something. Added, extra. Okay. You got yeah. some value yeah. to it. So mm-hmm. that one made it different. Yeah. Dude, you know what I'm saying? Like, up. You you gotta you gotta upsize now. Right. So instead of the medium combo, mm-hmm. you got the large. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got the large. So next thing you, you know, you're gonna get the super big size. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. super size me, girl. <laughs> super size. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, that she, four fifth dick. Oh hey, 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 look, look. From the first time she was just playing with the head. Hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So hey. 
Hey, hey, for the next time, she was putting it by halfway. Hey, third time she got that nigga that she really started liking. So yeah. when she finally did it, she put that bitch halfway. She tried to go all the way and she grabbed the bottom of his balls and lifted to him. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, you a nasty hoe. I love you. Yeah, I love, love like you. Said, <laughs> like, like that girl that said, I'm not a white girl. Like, put the, um, the hand on shoulder, hand on shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, wham, wham. Wham, wham. Why you acting weird? Yeah, like, no, you, bitch, why you, you know, acting weird? You just grabbed my balls and pulled them to your chin and tried to put everything in your mouth. Now you acting weird. That's why I'm at your Outside your house. That's why I DM yeah, your nigga and try to blow up your spot. Yeah. Hey, you're, hey, you're not gonna do that. Hey, you made hey, me love you. You, hey. asked, you, asked, you asked me to um uh, stir up my um uh, my iced tea with you, with my dick. And you drunk it. <laughs> 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 Man, I love you. Hey, man. hey, we had that. That was like a wild. Yeah, that, that, that was something like a. Uh, <laughs> right there, man. But yeah, man, like you gotta like a lot of shit that happens in life. You gotta accept that shit. Though, you gotta move with, roll with the punches. Yeah, because mm-hmm. you know you gotta think. You done ate somebody pussy before you you ate hoes. Mm-hmm. So therefore, you had to give it a little better. Some people ate a pussy Wednesday, ate another pussy Thursday. Niggas hey, be just hey, don't give a fuck. Niggas <laughs> say that I did that. Hell yeah, I did that. <laughs> I'm a nasty nigga. <laughs> you didn't do that before. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, hey listen, listen, man. Let, let me break this down to you, bro. What was so nasty about that? Because you ate the burger at Russia, then you went and ate another burger at Five Guys. <laughs> <laughs> I brushed my teeth, washed my face, I cleaned it myself. So man, yeah, I ate, her pussy. I, ate her, I ate her pussy and him, and I ate her pussy and him. I've done Good that man. before. I've done that before. I back in the back day. <laughs> Hey, yo, say it's been back in the day. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, I'm bullshit. I'm bullshit. Yo, man. My ass up that street, you heard me? Oh, yeah. Hey. Nah, dog. Oh, God. Oh, I ain't going to say back in the day. I ain't going to say back in the day. I was yeah, yeah, like, hey, hey, week, hey, my nigga. Hey, hey, nigga, nigga, nigga. Let me tell you something. Every nigga done did some nasty shit. I don't give a fuck. What you mean like uh, to a girl or like like? Yeah, nigga. No, no, nigga. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, yeah. I'm talking about multiple, like multiple girls. Just that's what I'm saying. Like, listen, I done been in, I done been in, in my life, I done hit a woman that morning and hit another one that night. And I might have hit him wrong. That's just shit, though. That's shit. Because yeah. you got to think, <laughs> I was in a relationship down there half of my life. Mm-hmm. I was with my first kid mom for damn near 12 years. Yeah. Guess what? How you, how you had time to listen what the rela- fuck I'm going <laughs> to say? <laughs> Man, the whole time I probably been with my first BM, I was with another woman too. Yeah. I was going with her too. Feel like that was my girlfriend because we was doing shit together. And he really? was mad when she did something else. No, nah, I wasn't mad then because I knew what I was dealing with. I knew she was a hoe. No, I ain't talking about oh, <laughs> your baby. I'm talking about your other side chick. I know who is side chick. No, I'm yeah. talking about the side chick, bro. I, don't, I ain't get mad at her. I ain't gonna be mad enough because I know what I'm doing. I got it. So when I caught myself going to get upset, I just say, why the fuck am I upset because she did that? I did the same shit too. <laughs> it's the why truth the though. Fuck? You, it's you, like, know you can't saying? be a, a, a hypocrite. You can't do it. Because you gotta like, accept whatever. Exactly because, because you do it. listen with my side. No, chick, you don't. That's with my side chick. The whole time I was with my first BM, look here, man. We was taking day trips to the beach. We'll go leave out that morning and come back that fucking evening. Like fuck how you that. manage that? How you had the time? Exactly. I was a street nigga, so it was always like I was road running. Yeah, but I wasn't. I took a little vacation. Yeah, a little vacation, <laughs> little man vacation, yeah, a little, vacation. little daycation. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't shit. Yeah, you can call me an ain't shit ass nigga. You was ain't shit nigga. You changed. You changed. Yeah, I'm ready to get married now on the low. Somebody was telling me it ain't a good look to be hanging around matter when you newly single and stuff. Oh like no, that. no, it's not a good look because everybody go dig up my background. I'm like, like matter don't need me having women. Yeah, I don't have hoes. I wish. Yeah, I, wish I had hoes. Nah. What they choose is what they choose. I don't label them as mine. <laughs> they, so they, they mine. mine. Damn. So you got friends or a friend. Friend with benefit. I ain't. I don't know what the fuck I got going on in my life right now. Just, just this bitch just go with the flow. Look, I just come and go. That's all we doing. Coming and going, bitch. Look, you come here, I'm coming. Now it's time for Three. you to go. You gotta go. Now I'm bullshit. Y'all go ahead for this shit leak out back. <laughs> I'm trying to get my life together. You heard me. You want a wife? But I'm telling you, don't you get like, you know, you want to be at the house with a woman every night. Just get some foundation to that joint, like. 
do like a routine with your life with a Who woman. don't want that? Who don't want to come home to somebody you can talk to? Every day. Like, 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 nigga, when I leave here, I got to go back home by myself in thoughts. Yeah, I don't. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You going home to your little damn stinking coochie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, hey. My nigga, he finna go be sad. German, sad. Shit, I don't know what that is. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? It ain't sad. It ain't sad, it ain't sad it but it you gonna be in a lonely state. Relations, like, relations, uh, nah, 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 you gotta think like, what I'm finna do. Cause I know once I leave here, I'm finna go home and go to the gym. Yeah. That's what I can do. I'm finna hey. feed my dog. I might walk him. I'm gonna go to the gym, go home. I know my daughter come cause she gotta go to school. So through the week, I'm a parent. Yeah. On the weekend, bitch, I'm a hoe. Now nah, bullshit, is. I'm bullshit. <laughs> these are all jokes women that's gonna watch this podcast and see these clips that man out here talking this mess. But nah, I done been in that life though. I done right. been in that life. But that's real shit though. Like if you used to having a woman around every night and then you just dead in your thoughts at night, it get very different. That's why you gotta pursue your passion. And so your mind is yeah, always so, on something that's so gonna help now, you out. So now I done figured it out now. Yeah. So while I'm alone and I don't know nothing to do. I gotta find something that's go better me financially, mentally, and physically. So now I sit back and I do a lot of research on things that's gonna help me in life. Like, okay, I run a business. Where you research at before you go? Where you research at? I mean, a lot of your research, the only thing you need is YouTube. Okay. That's all I'm about, you need. I'm about to say that. Yeah, because like I run a business. So now I look at running a business so i look up things on how to run business what i need to know about a business what i need to grow as a business how i'm gonna grow as a business you know what i'm saying so i look at that then you know shit. i go i, I started going to the gym like i was 240 pounds now i'm like 207 maybe now i started going to the gym so now i look at workout videos healthy foods to eat things to put in your body things not to put in your body i need i need to do stuff like that because i want to get my six pounds. we need to look at the old Interview we had with Mally and see how bigger he was back then and how fat he looked because he said he had lost like weight. So you could yeah, literally look at your old videos Mally, when and Mally see. When get in the gym, Mally, like, just like with, I think with anything Mally do, you go hard at it. You go yeah, all right, hard. Like, like this is the thing. Like I got the recipe to this, so I know I can let myself go. And a lot of times you'll let yourself go because you be so happy with life when you're dealing with someone. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened with me. My last relationship, I felt like I was happy with life until it tumbled down. So I was just eating, chilling, being a fat slob. I stopped going to the gym because I was happy. I was happy to be around that person. Yeah. So I gave all my time and energy to that person. Yeah. But then I had to realize, man, look, when I got tired of, tired of bending, my, bending over and tying my shoe, that bitch was hurt. I got up, I'm like, man, look, I gotta so go I gotta to the change. gym. I gotta get right. Like, I can't get my focus all here. I want to focus on no business. I want to focus on my life. I was focused on that woman. Yeah. And but like then, you can't focus on but that then, woman, but you also yeah, got to focus but on I was letting thing. myself go into that woman. Mm -hmm. So I was becoming. Yeah, that woman was like, she was, she was, like your happiness, and she, she yeah, can't be. She was the my happiness. distraction into my other happiness. She added to my happiness, but she also subtracted because I took away the fun things that I liked it for myself just to give to that woman. Mm -hmm. So then once the bad things started happening, your relationship started to crumble. You go back into that old book and you read them old pages and you bring everything back. So, yeah, like before I met the last woman I was with, I was in the gym faithfully. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I had to think, what did I eat back then? What did I do back then? How did I lose this weight? Okay, cool. I remember now I'm reading these pages. Bring that back out. Do this. Guess what now? Look, you lost a little weight. You got your little Gordo Husky gone. Bitch, feeling me again. For real, I'm talking about people, people always mention how mad mad it will stay in some shape. Like you be like you look caught because you're like you a little meat little ninja turtle looking nigga and shit. Yeah. Like, oh, fuck you. Oh, you know, fuck yeah. Charlemagne Neo looking, looking ass. Yeah, like, look at that nigga with them strong ass forearms and shit. But Skinny ass legs. Strong ass forearms. Y'all heard about that Marine that had killed them four people in Florida? Hell no. This it's disgusting. He um it, okay. He he went he in the marine no more or whatever. But these random people that he didn't know he had he had got they said he was on crystal meth. But like I was it's in somewhere in Tampa. He rolled there. He shot the grandma. And he first of all he came about seven o'clock that day or whatever. And like saying I need to find Amber. They say she she um, about to commit suicide. I gotta save her. And then okay he so like he it left. wasn't no Amber that stayed no, there. No Amber that day. So they called the police on him and so he left for the police got there. By four o'clock in the morning he busted. It was like a two house. It's like a main house and a, a house on the side. And he busted into that house. Just shut FaceTime me. Sean, I can't answer right now, man. I don't want to pie. Okay. Just answer Sean on the pie right now, man. Live on the pie. He ain't answer. He, um, 
I missed it. But anyway, Sean, I missed the phone call. I ain't calling back. But anyway, back to the story, y'all. He he killed. The, he um he he busted into the grandma place where she's staying at. He 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 pumped some lead in her. It just sounds terrible. That sounds crazy. Then he then he then he busted into the house or whatever. And like they all they all run to the bathroom or yeah. whatever. And like he shoot the, the um the daddy trying to hold the door um closed. Shoot through the door or whatever. Kill the daddy. Running there. The the mama has had a three month old had a three month old daughter with her too. Yeah. Shot the mama and three month old um son, I think. Three month old son. Like the mama still was holding the son while they was like laying on the floor or whatever. Right. And as an eleven year old, he shot her like seven times too, but she she um didn't she live. Like I'm telling you, it's sicko stuff going on in this world. And that's, that's why a I always lot of sick that, that's shit. why I always I also saw that Jewish job. But I always say like when people like cut you off in traffic or whatever, be blowing the horn, you don't know how crazy whoever is in that other car. I don't ever be like trying to real. blow the horn back. Like, because like, I ain't got okay. time for that. Like that that shit that shit happened to me. So hey. I figure out a way to solve it. But you gotta be by it because you don't know what's on the other exactly. end of that car. That's what I'm saying. So hey, I remember I arrived, motherfucker bah! blowing a horn at me, they pull up beside me talking shit. I just look at them. They stay there talking shit. So hey, I let my window down. They talking shit, talking shit. Nice and went in my glove box. <laughs> See, man, I ain't gonna get a charge yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I don't give a yeah. fuck. <laughs> because if you reach and pull yours, I'm finna go ahead and shoot, cause it's already one in there. Yeah. I ain't got time for your bullshit. Yeah. Big Draco, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I'm soldier boy. Yeah. Like yeah. This, right? But now nah, though, now nah, though, man, like, like Okay then. Brazil, okay, you. okay then. Yeah, go ahead, we we go got ahead. a little special guest. <laughs> but um, oh, yeah. yeah, man, look, you don't know what's on the other end, so you never hey, know. Let them people talk shit and go on about your day, man. Cause that that little seven seconds that they talk shit, I don't forgot about that bitch in twenty going down. There. You know? Exactly. Cause once I pull off, I laughed at you. You yeah. for real? Cause you ain't because you're bothered by something in your life, not by me. Exactly. exactly. A really lot of people, know. a lot of people take out their frustration and anger on the person because they're bothered by other things in life. A lot of shit going on, and they know that it's some person that would get aggravated with that. So I'm gonna bother them too. Exactly. Like people the, be so going through life situations, like you got so many problems in your head, and like especially it's sometimes it's most time it's the person that want to help you out. You want to go hard on them, like they I'm trying to help you. You talking shit to me? Oh yeah, I always get that. Like, I always get that. Like I'm just trying to make you happy. I always get that. I want to make you better. Yeah. I get shit talking to me. Nah, get out of here. I man. ain't shit ass nigga. Huh? Sorry, learn from your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, father, Sorry, but what, what advice y'all give me for fatherhood? You just pick the right person. Yeah. You don't know the fucking right person. People change as they go. You they never do. know the right person. Well, you know, you know, because throw the line out there and hope you pick the right one. It, it, it's a gamble. Life's, it's a gamble. Life's a gamble. Because if you don't capitulate to everything somebody else want, they will just be like, Because guess what? Deuces. One thing, I'm hard to kill. Bitch, if I like you, I don't quit. Yeah. <laughs> he don't That's quit. No, I don't quit. He don't like get it. tired. Nah. Like, yeah, he gonna get tired. And be like, fuck it. This nigga ain't even go get live up. He, so he like, ain't so, letting up. So, I deal with this nigga. I deal with this. Nigga. Deal with me. So, I ain't so, going well. So that's your all uh, your tactics. So your your tactics is like I'm just gonna bombard you with the attention. Man, you. fuck no. I ain't, I ain't over pursuing these hoes. What I'm just saying, you saying if I was still, if I, I was just to, bullshitting, and you know this, man. So, so your tactic is like, okay, I'm gonna fall off. You gonna you gonna fall off? That's the best way to do it. Hey, look, look. This is it. I give you time because people go through things in life that they don't share with everybody. So therefore, you might be going through something that's disturbed, that's discouraging. They just want to take it out on you and make you feel like you're bad. So I'm gonna let you do that. I'm gonna accept that energy. That don't mean I have to like deal with your energy just because I accept. I can accept your phone call. Don't mean I engage in your conversation. That's true. Because I, was people, I can pick up the phone and let you talk and don't give a fuck. A lot of people say <laughs> so, people, <laughs> want this, people want this attention or whatever. But most of the time, these people are crying for help. Yeah, that's their thing. So, therefore, if they come in and they taking that anger out on you, you're the help. You're the one that needs to help exactly. them. Because they don't want to run that nobody else. They want you to see their problem, and they can't let it out, and they don't talk to people about it. So, once they're hurt and everything, and they going off on you, accept that shit. You got to. Because guess what? Later in that day, you put up with my bullshit. I was going through such a set. Man, you know, I'm thankful you're here. You really showed me this, this, and this. Hey, just deal with that shit. Got to. That was in life at Bomb Ten. Like, like I said, we don't been around each other our whole goddamn life. Fucking so evil like, bitches. Like, <laughs> all right, so like to see our progression, what it is fucking scary to know that like, goddamn, like we. I remember this um 
nigga this uh, number 21 jersey thing here Deion Sanders and like you know he had braids run up the back of his neck oh and my stuff god we were that crew that boy that. my shit had shells on them shit boy I stop we were, we were the <laughs> braid was short hey, no hang time we were the crew was mad at it, somebody smashed a, a girl in his bed on the crew <laughs> a, a girl that he did not know oh, and nigga, for the team right there bro. The hey listen this, this is the thing why would I hate because she chose him? She didn't choose me. Let him get him. Yeah. On hey, my yeah. bed. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Nigga, he don't even know the niggas in his day. Hey, hey, it's just like this. He got picked up in the NFL. Why would I hate on him? Yeah, fair. I might can be his agent. Hell, I might have to do something for him. Fuck it. Man. I don't know this nigga. Man, look, look come up. Yeah. You might look out for me now. Fuck it. Word. Hey, Word. I just gave that nigga that's a That's a wild ass. Logic, man. Hey. That's wild though, right? The woman wild. didn't choose me, so I'm supposed to hate on the next man? Bro, go in there and smash. Man. I know your parents you might. Remember their names? You, hey, man, you ever, <laughs> you ever yeah, been no. accused of hating out here? <laughs> I don't know. I guess you wouldn't know because, you know, people ain't know you never heard like that, man. I, I hear player hate. No, I never hated on a nigga like when it come to a woman or none of that shit. Like, you ain't through no shade. Like, you ain't never, oh, you know what they call it? Simping ass. Like, that nigga, you don't need that. Nah, nigga, I never man. been a simp. Like, I never hit a nigga up, like, try to blow up his spot about no woman that if the woman deal with him and don't deal with me now, nah, I ain't finna do that. That woman chose you. Why I gotta deal with her fucking toxic ass? Cause she, that's the reason that she, we ain't fucking fucking with each other. Yeah. She done went off on me about some shit. She can't accept the real fact. Yeah. Like one, one chick I was dealing with, she told me that I had to be a secret. Bitch, I'm nobody's secret. I'm too popping to be the homie. Bitch, you yeah. fucking with me, motherfucker go know about me. A little secret. <laughs> so why would she want you to be a secret? What, what, what was her impression of you? Why, cause like, I feel like you feel like you're a good enough nigga to be. Because she line. said that we, I right, we dealt before, <clears> but. It was issues went on during that time, so then she wanted to try it again. But then I gotta be a secret on this next go round. Look, if I'm a secret, I'ma fuck whoever I want to, bitch. You better accept that shit, cause I'm your secret. You can't get mad. How you gonna show out if I'm a secret? But guess what? She got mad. Huh? You got mad? Yeah, yeah. She walked in one day. I'm on the phone, bitch. What up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, I'm gonna call you right back. Who that was? <laughs> Nicely for my past due bill to her. <laughs> my, you asking them damn type of questions, baby. You got to go on and pay that. <laughs> I'll let you know. I'll be in the phone then. You paid that bill. You see who everybody I call. You paid it for that month. That's yours. That's <laughs> yours. Like, I would use it, but what So, if somebody pay your bill, they can look at your phone calls. They can have it. <laughs> okay. That's their phone. Number. That's their phone. Okay. <laughs> they got it for the next month. Okay. Once I pay it again, it's back mine. Oh. So, like, they can just go through your phone. It's theirs. Okay. They paid it for that month. So, okay, we're going to tell Jerry. I mean, I, I, you can I, say Jerry. Okay. We're going to tell Jerry. <laughs> but listen. To, to go through your phone one day. Now, I, you didn't even be around her, but like, you know, if you when you do be around But her. listen, though, th this is the thing. I ain't got nothing to hide. I'm single. If she want to go in my phone, who feelings get hurt? <laughs> we were talking about this though. Like you going phone? somebody's phone ain't the right thing to do. Nah, if you go through somebody's phone, I feel like that's the time that you really want to walk away. Yeah, let's go. You don't have walk to walk away. away. <laughs> let's walk away after what you see. <laughs> because <laughs> this is the thing: if you go through a phone and it ain't your name, and she's talking about how she sucked at it. Boy, it's sick. <laughs> man, it's I'm sick. gonna holler, I'm gonna holler at y'all. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, he, he finna go jump in front of a train and stuff like that. Nah, nigga, you go lay in that bed, but I ain't killing myself. It, it, you know, it could, so, damn, that hurt though. But like, so you ain't never got caught on the phone. Like, boy, I done slap, slap that um that poo nanny down, and you don't got caught. So tell me this, so, just give me this. You ever got caught with your phone? Somebody looked at your phone and saw something. You got woke up with it. No, I have. <laughs> yeah. No. Who was that? Because you know? you know, anytime I ever get caught with shit, I just never deny it because what I supposed to care about another nigga? You know, he be denying shit sometimes. <laughs> Nigga, I, don't I, even I, lie. I, <laughs> I don't even know he lied. That nigga, don't he lie. I, 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 I hey, look, you can hit my baby mama up right now. Hit Jari up right now. Now. And ask her, do I, do I eventually tell the truth? I tell the truth. Eventually. Though, hey, fuck having secrets, man. That's how I want to live. Fuck having secrets. Either, communication is key. Yeah, like, if you ain't want to fuck with me, I'm going to fuck with somebody else. It's like, a lot of women why, out here. Why you can't, if you're not messing with your significant other, why you can't just build on yourself and then maybe y'all can, you know, you ain't got to mess with somebody in between y'all trying to build your relationship. Right. You just work on yourself. Right now, I'm just cool. You know what I'm saying? You ain't, you, you, you using a lot of Vaseline, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, what my man say? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> just like that, you gonna bring me? Man, fuck that. Hell hey, no. Nah. One more story before we end the pod, man. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me break this down to you. When you're dealing with yourself, bro, eliminate a lot of shit. Eliminate mm. porn. 
Eliminate clubs. Eliminate where you're around other women. Eliminate where you want to be sexually aroused. Eliminate that shit. So you don't have to go through that. Yeah. So therefore, that's why I say put your energy and time in something else. You don't need you don't need to put. But like again, every man like at the end of the day, if you like women, you, you love the. the everybody energy. wants that other woman. Well, wants that woman on their side. Mm-hmm. Everybody want to go home and saying. talk to somebody. Well, when you single or whatever, you gonna you want even worse of then because it's like she I ain't got I can't I ain't even got a fall back of you know a a placeholder. I gotta go find something every day. So like you don't have to find mm-hmm. something that's, every that's, day. That ain't my mind. Something will attract to you. Yeah, yeah. like I'm, I'm, right. now, I'm I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. It was only one woman in my life that I ever hollered at. I never, ever tried to holler at a woman. You ain't got to try. The only woman I ever hollered at was Camilla Jackson, my first child. Oh, yeah, they bug, do, baby. whatever. That was the only woman I ever hollered at. Pursue. Anything else, they came to me. I attract. Facts. That's just that. Like, when I got with Jaree, I didn't holler at Jaree. She sent me her number. I sent my number back. She called me. We was chilling that night. You feel me? Went from there. It's so crazy how like how like one little link up a go for life. Yeah, life yeah. Now. Me and Bo was together twelve years. Me and Jerry was together like six years. That's, that's, that's eighteen. That's eighteen years, and I ain't married yet. Bitch, somebody better come put a ring on it. I know my word. Hey, would you if a woman proposed you? Would you take it? I'm taking that. Taking Nigga, we're on the phone talking about that. Uh, that you said hell no. Why you wouldn't take that? No, I'm talking woman, about you. I know you want to talk about that with me. Yeah, I talk about somebody else. Yeah, wrong nigga, right game though. <laughs> hey, wrong nigga, right game. I, I I always tell her, um, I be talking that shit with my girl. Like I wish she would drop down her. If dick. a woman drop down, if a but that's, that's feminine chin. though. I don't Why? want that. I'm Why? masculine. Why? That woman showed you what she wanted. But, but I don't want a woman to do that to me. No, because you're contradicting yourself now. You contradicting yourself. Because you just I just masculine. You just said that you want a woman to tell you what the fuck she want. That woman got on she her knees. She can tell me. Listen, that woman got on her she knees t- and told you that she you. wanted marriage. You. She showed you that. Why you ain't take that? Because she told you what the fuck she wanted. You just said that you want a woman to take. If you want me to fuck you, say that. If you want me to take you out, say that. But guess what? That woman got on her knees. She wants you to marry her. Nigga, say that. <laughs> she <laughs> said that. She ain't got to go to the knee, though. But that's, she, that's, that's women going to say they want you to marry them before you get on your knee, though. If that I don't woman, need a woman to get on her knee for but me. me I know if a woman get on her knee for me, I love me, you, bitch. I ain't going to never. Me, <laughs> I love you, bitch. I love you, girl. Me, personally, with marriage, I want to get married. Like I'm ready to get married. Who don't want to get married? I want to have that perfect person to marry your best friend though me personally i feel like i'm ready the only thing i want to do but i feel like it's got i can't do it in a regular way you can't i don't think you can just be like you can't do it in a regular way you go to the courthouse get married today no i ain't talking about that i'm talking about like proposing yeah That's what I'm saying. I got to come up with something that's like, you got to be sincere. You don't have to come. If you're coming up with something, I feel like it's fake because you played it out. If you just do it from the screen. I got to know I want to do it. That's what I'm saying. So if you know you want to do it, you just do it. You don't come up with a scheme to do it. Yeah, yeah. He he want to do it some kind of special way. But therefore, if you want to do it, you want to do it. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. But I mean, you. Hey. Hey, hey, look. Hey, look, yes. little bit. You you not just go say I'm gonna t- I'm gonna take y'all a little shit right here. You not just finna say marry me. You not gonna do it no, that way. Oh, that's what exactly. You not gonna. That's not natural for you. Yeah, definitely not. That's not the way that you roll. So the way that you roll is the way that you do it. That's the truth. Though. I'm gonna do it the way I feel that I will. The do way it. you feel that is yeah. gonna be a great way to make her happy and it's gonna make you happy. And if you want to cry, I don't have a shoulder for you to lean on. Take your bitch ass <laughs> to your brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that part. Yeah, feel me? But one more story before we go. I, I ain't never asked you this stuff, but tell me your story about, remember that time you had, you had went to jail? You want to tell it? Which, get, which time, part? Aiken that time. I think he was coming back from Aiken or whatever. So, all right, let me, let me break this down. Yeah. We talking about on uh, that time. Nah, you talking about different time. The weed that, shit. That, yeah, the that, weed that shit. was the weed shit. That, was, so, that, wasn't, that wasn't the busty play. I ain't never had one of them. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm going to break this down to y'all. Look. Y'all, the craziest shit, how I went to jail in Aiken, right? I got caught with, like, four ounces of marijuana. Yeah. You know, hit me with a uh, PWID, possession, possession with a tent to uh, distribute. We well, dropped it down. You had a tent to distribute? What you were trying to distribute? Hell no, nah, I forgot the shit was in the car, bitch. <laughs> so, hey, so fucked around. They dropped it to a uh, simple possession. I got a uh, conditional discharge, which got it off my record. I had to do a year of probation with drug tests and shit. But I knew when I was getting drug tests, so I could smoke. Quit, smoke, quit, shit like that. But anyway, I was going to see this chick, right? 
So I had my homeboy to make a play for me, but the whole play ain't go through. They only got half. I'm like, I'm going to leave the car lock, put the rest in there, but let me know. He forgot to let me know that he didn't make the whole play. So I'm riding with a whole QP in the car. I ain't even know. Just thugging. Yeah, I'm thugging. You heard me? QP. So I'm going to see a chick. Not to mention. Got a whole family at home. So this chick, I'm going to break it. Like, before we go, I got to break that story down break with this chick. So I'm going to see this chick, right? I ain't I ain't got the seatbelt on. I got the seatbelt on, but I took the part that go here. Oh, this part right here. Across the back. I put it behind me. You yep. feel me? So when I did that, the police sitting in the media. And I was in the car some rims or whatever, right? But I'm, on the, I'm going to see another chick, but on the phone with another chick. Fucking with my other shit, you feel me? Boy. I was on some other shit, you feel yeah. me? On some so other ride, shit. Boom. I was like, this nigga about to pull me over. So, you know, I'm comfortable. I ain't shit in my car. Because I know it's never nothing yeah. in that car. Pull over. There we go. There man, we go. the car smelled like weed, bruh. Hey, look, man, I, probably, I smoked in the car before I came up here, man. You know what I'm saying? You could check it. He pulled that bitch out. The fuck, nigga? Where you get this from? Yeah. I was like, boy, that was that good shit, too. That shit was so lime green. <laughs> it was a drought around that time. Yeah. Mm. I was the only nigga with it. So bro. when you what, when he when, Man, he, look, put, when he pulled out your heart drop, nah, I didn't really drop. I done been to jail before, so I didn't drop. Oh nigga. So nah, I don't make you. You ain't nigga. That was a stupid nigga. You heard me for real. Yeah, I, I, I so, my pain. So so you know what I'm saying. So I was like, okay, I'm going to jail. But he was cool. He was like, look, call whoever you need to call from your cell phone. When I get to the jail, I'm gonna take your cell phone. My call to everybody in the country. Boy, boy, I'm about to go to jail. Y'all nigga, hey, blah, blah, blah. Bum was like $500. Got a little lawyer and shit. Paid like all together. So I'm around three grand, $3,500 just to get out that whole shit. But it was straight. That's a lot of money to pay to get out some weed. That, that probably that, cost that. about, how much the weed probably would cost? About 1000 Something like That's that. That's the system for you, though. Yeah, yeah. But, you gonna hey, pay, motherfucker. The thing is, when you hustling, you got to motherfucking hustle in order to pay your way. Yeah. So anything can happen. You got to have money for this, have money for this, have money for this. That's what you're hustling for. You're not hustling to go up nowhere. You're just hustling to live. You just, if you live in check by check, you just... Uh, uh, I'm just hustling enjoy. to live. But well, what you did with that, um, well, yeah, talk about the, 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 the lock. Remember that, that big-ass lock you had? That big-ass safe box? You still got it? Yeah, of course. You use it? Uh, yeah. Okay. It's still something in it. Okay. You feel Baller, me? But yeah, man, we it's still it. something in it. Yeah, I remember y'all used to play with that money. You know, man, you know I... Childish ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but when y'all cousin goddamn got out, I went and got my shit, I though. Know. We know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You I'm about to come get that. Y'all hey, were too hey, cool hey, with y'all cousin. Hey, that thing hey, that was... It was big, but I, it would have left our place. If it was oh, I, I can carry it by myself, so I know he'll find a way. Oh. He'd have put, he, he put that shit in a bed spread and just drug it out. Easiest way. It's going to slide. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So, come on, man. I ain't a thief, but I could be a thief. Damn, I can think like one. But but the thing is, let me tell you about this girl I was going to see. Man, the whole time I'm fucking with this chick, right? Um, hey, to be real, I got a whole family at home. A whole family. Whole motherfucking family at home, right? Bruh, I'm going to see this other chick. She don't know nothing about my family. She don't even know I got a kid. I'm telling my family that I'm playing in a basketball tournament. I'm spending nights with this woman up here. <laughs> my God. You know what I'm saying? I'm spending nights. I'm living with this woman. <laughs> the whole Man, look, the whole, t whole tournament, bro. <laughs> hey, it was a basketball shit going on, yeah. but it was like a one-day event. Okay. <laughs> hey, I had them through my boy Quan in this shit and everything. Like, bro, nigga, we at this basketball tournament. You can't be seen by this woman. Don't go up there. I'm, I'm serious, man. I hate to fall out with you, boy. Hey, so then, you know what I'm saying? The crazy shit is, after I got locked up, I didn't talk to this woman for 10 plus years. After you got locked up, you ain't talked to her for 10 years? 10 plus. So, when you got locked up, y'all just lost all communication? She was calling, but I never answered again. Mm -hmm. I never answered again, you know what I'm saying? Like, she called me and called me because while I was locked up, they called my phone. My mama took my phone from my grandma house over to my house, so my baby mama answered the phone. Hello? Who the fuck are you? Worried about him. Boom. So they were like, who the fuck are you? But I'm his kid's mom. Hmm? His mama? This nigga got a whole family at that? I ain't been lying. So the funny shit is, that was 2011. Bruh, believe it or not, I ain't talked to this woman, don't know her. I knew she was in Georgia, but I didn't know. Because she was from D.C. Funny shit is, I ran into this woman 10 years later, March, March 27, 
2021. Time be going by so fast. Like, so when y'all ran into each other, how was it? Like, oh. I knew she was there. She told me she was there. That was well, it was a party up that way. So I just went out, and I didn't know, think she would come downtown to be seen. Yeah. But she was like, "Where you at? I'm on such and such street." I'm like, "Cool, I'm close by. I can holler at you when I walk out this club." So you know, and I said it was like, "Damn, I ain't seen in a long time. A lot changed, but a lot hasn't changed. You still look the same. You know what I'm saying? Boom, that ugly ass nigga." Yeah, you know, she, <laughs> she was like, wow, this the grown up Mally. The I grown. never told him my real name until like probably recently. They didn't know Jamie. They knew Mally. Mally, mm-hmm. man. Everybody yeah. know young Mally. I never get my he, real name no more. He got no bands. Cause he got a girl name. Jamie. <laughs> Bitch, you got my granddaddy name. Hey, Jamie! girl. <laughs> 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 but hey, like they never knew my real name. I was told people my name was Malachi. Just call me Mally. Just call me Malachi. That nigga. And if I know I ain't going to fuck with you long. Say my name Marquette. That's my middle name. Marquette. I ain't giving you my real shit. Mar- Fuck Mar- you. <laughs> Call it what you want for a nigga named Lil Bit. Yeah, a Lil Bit. <laughs> Lil <laughs> but Jerry, you hey, know shit. Hey, hey, hey. Nah, because, yeah, that's what the nigga gonna say. Can I put a little bit in? Nigga. Gay. Gay. Lil Gay. You got social, Jerry? Twitter at the Jeremy Gant. Um, for IG and Snap, Jeremy underscore Gant. That's oh, you, 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 you can follow me at Y Twin because on Twitter, Instagram, I here mess with Brazil. She ever sang her, her, her <laughs> mouth out. But you can follow me at her son underscore guy at the same time. And just hey, follow the podcast, man. Shout out to the shout out to me for cutting this on um, curtains up. You feel me? I did that. Yeah, I had to take all the credit for that. You feel me? <laughs> look like some whole shit. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's like it's like some stuff. It's some stuff that it do look, look good look, on camera though. Make it look more professional because you can't see behind us. I'm like, you know, we just trying to upgrade this podcast. You just want to take that look. Next week, hopefully, we have a guest on that we can have a good conversation with. No, no, Mally a guest, but Mally I ain't no motherfucker guest. Because <laughs> when I came down, <laughs> nigga. Yeah, I ain't no fucking. I'm a regular, man. I just come when I come. When I come, hey, look. He talked. Plug me up. Later, man. I'll board. I'll board today. Yeah, he ain't got shit to do. Y'all, hey, they they don't, like I say, what what Mally said, when he leave here, he going to the gym. He ain't got nothing else to do. He ain't got shit to do. Go to his family. Yeah, I just got to wait on my kid to come. Stay <laughs> yeah. with me. Take her to school in the morning. Find something to do tomorrow until she get out of school. Then we'll find something to do. Yeah. Once I be with my kids, I'm occupied. I don't do. Yeah, you, you, can you just laugh with um, laugh with. I oh, know I ain't paying their ass no TikTok. The only thing they doing is watching TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> just keep it real. With you. And you watching TikTok too? Yeah, I like TikTok. TikTok has TikTok took a, is a, like amazing. I don't get on Facebook. I don't. I got a Facebook. Y'all don't use it, but you know what I'm saying. IG TikTok. But yeah. I think me personally, like because Birdman was talking about this, like with your uh, like I said, you got it. Like, I like how you be on Snapchat, like. You know, hit the link or whatever. You gotta have stuff to let people know if you, I got a service and if you need this a service that they yeah. need to serve, I can serve you. Yeah. And like what we saying, like with all this the stuff we got with that with the uh, photos, like we can take photos. We got time to like we do video and photos. We can do it if we can got all this stuff and get this information. Why not use it and apply it to make profit off of it? Yeah. So like just like what you doing? Like you know, just learning more of information. But hey, yeah, fuck all that. Hey, give me your information, man. I got time you gotta give me information. Nah, not yet. Well, get it to him. Get it to him. Why you can't? Why you want to Because I got to edit that. I don't give a fuck about you. Anyways. <laughs> hey, go, go to three, me. Jerry. Get on your job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with the Facebook, man. You can find me on IG. I just look famous, man. Or you can find me on the Snap. That nigga been snapping. You know what I'm saying? Or you can find me on TikTok, too, man. I just look famous. 85. Oh, yeah. And check this out. September the 25th, we got a big event coming up. You know what I'm saying? On Oak Street, Baseburg. Southern occasion. From 11 to 2, bosses and brunch and shit. Man. I don't you know think it's going on. I don't think it's going on anymore. That shit ain't going on no more. <laughs> <laughs> that shit ain't going on no more. I don't know. <laughs> Candace I don't better know. tell me something. What? what happened? What happened? We'll talk about this shit when the camera goes off. Yeah, right. The sure. brunch still going on? So ain't nobody informed. Hmm? Nobody, nobody didn't even hit you up, young man. You supposed to be. I was tell you you, you done wrote your, you done wrote your speech and stuff. No, 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 no. Let me edit my day where I'm going to fucking work now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck with you. That's on the uh, Twitter field. Uh, but I took out the whole day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it off. Huh? You can do that when you got your own business. Crazy. I want to be like Young Mallow when I I ain't put no PT on ready, I was ready, I was ready, pretty ready to film you and edit this shit up. The, um, like just to promote to promote your business, promote your idea, and then get better and just learn this, this editing process. But we still got to figure some shit hey. out. We got to come down there and film you one day, man. Get a commercial for you. I don't need it. 
Yeah, we don't want to give it to you. <laughs> now nah, nah, they don't want to give it, but they just yeah, did. Soon yeah, as yeah. the soon yeah. as the nigga reject them, yeah. they got everything back. Hey, That's take it away, man. That's hey, the take away hey, approach. Hey, girl, come here. You look good. No, no, don't talk to me. What fuck you did? Fuck yeah, you did. Yeah, fuck you did. Yeah. Put a little worm out. Fuck hey, you, you're, you're flat, you're flat ass. ass. Come on, man. <laughs> but um, you can go on IG and Twitter at D Money QB. Go to Snapchat, fine ass twin. You go to. IG and Twitter for the Navy Black Podcast at Navy Black Pod. Go to YouTube, Navy Black Podcast, and go to uh the website, NavyBlackPodcast.com. Get your merch and all that, man. We'll see y'all next week. Episode 87. Shout out to Devin. Shout out. Look up, Mally, say cheese. Shout, shout, <laughs> shout out to Joe Horn, man. Shout out. Like Deontay to this Hall. day. Huh? <laughs> ain't mean shit. Yeah. It didn't. Like, subscribe, and follow the Neighbor Back Podcast on all social media platforms.